hi everyone welcome to my channel today I'm about to give you my first tour and so before we get started I'm going to show you a little bit of what you will see blue star creepers verbenas perennials which is the power castle artemisia Matilda Hydrangeas, Orange Flames, May Night Salvias, Sally Rose, April Night, Coral Bark, Japanese Maple, Georgia Speedwells, Ferns, Coral Bells, Foxtail Ferns, a Jap another Japanese uh, maple, burgundy, and it's going to weep, weep over dianthus. More a different kahori dianthus, juniper point, spiral blue point junipers. You also will see other junipers, boxwoods, coned hollies, candy tuff, weeping ushimas. Saucer magnolias, different type of supertunias, peonies, more Japanese maples. Everyone, you will see hydrangeas, Nico blues, penny mac hydrangeas, and plenty of azaleas. Okay, this is my yard, you all. And when I started this journey, I drew. Pictures, backyard, side, front yard, side space along the back. I even drew <laughs> the house. Let me turn this around for you all. I colored in, I shaded blue, purple, pink. I drew out the names of things that I wanted at the time or wanted to get rid of. You all, this was the plan. That's the front of my home. Look at my curb appeal. Busy street. All right, you all. All right, here we go. My tour. We have monkey grass, Japanese maple. Verbenas. Homestead Purple Verbenas, David Austin Rose, we have a Clarence Plant Hydrangea, and this is the Firelight. Here we have it's an azalea power castle Artemisa. These require six hours of sunlight, but they've been doing very well over here in this bed, which gets about four to five hours. That's an azalea, specifically the brand of this azalea is, let me find out for you all. It's the mix, dual mix azalea. We'll also let you all know the poet's wife, David Austin Rose. Here we have 
One moment. The orange flame. Orange flame. I'm still working on my pathway here. Blooms are starting to form on this salvia that I got for $3 on the clearance rack. All right, we're moving along. Lord to Pelham's three dollars. More three dollar hydrangeas, fire lights, azaleas. Now that azalea there is one. Give you all the specific one. It's the Autumn Royalty. That was planted about four years ago. I also have some Lagustrum Sunshines. It's a little dirty. But I got these for clearance and they're finally filling in. Have another one planted here. Another Japanese maple. Crown cover rose bush. Back there we have a coral bark, Japanese maple, some lucky grass, an azalea, fire power nandina with some salvias blooming. Ground cover. We have Creeping Jenny. Corbell. Okra. With pretty pink flowering. Azalea. Japanese maple. All right, and under here, if you can see the little pretty blue flower, it's a Georgia blue speedwell. Flowers on there. More ferns. Here I have a rug, which I am really falling in love with Scotch moss, which is filling in nicely. Spiral juniper. Mm -hmm. 
coral bells with boxwoods. This is my succulent garden, which my son has moved some of some more succulents. Hellebore was given to me free. Here we have more corbels, the carnival watermelon corbel, in which I have some hanging in the baskets, also. some ferns back here there's the Japanese maple from the back side or the side side we have some crepe myrtles on the other side there it's a Japanese maple that my dog bit off that I'm trying to bring back to roots and there we have a peony which they're finally starting to sprout. Here we have a foxtail fern. More Georgia blue speed whales. Dianthus. There were a few flowers. Here is where this variety of a Japanese maple is leafing out really well with speed wells, monkey grass, ground cover. Blue Point Junipers. There we have a boxwood. Next, I'm going to show you all some dianthus, more dianthus. That was for that dianthus there. I have a hydrangea growing on a corner. More Lord's Apellum that I trained up as trees with ferns. There's Legend, everyone. I'll show you the hostas in the back. Ranger there. This is a silver berry. Let me show you all the name. Ebbing silver berry. That I got on sale for a dollar, I believe. Also, show you these salvias here. Two blue point junipers. There. 
more salvia. More creeping jennies. This was that brand one boxwood there. Roses. Salvia's are really getting tall. Those hydrangeas back there are Matildas, which I'll walk you to. This here was a weeping Yoshima cherry that's leafing out there with an azalea. Potted, which I placed this azalea here to help out with that creeping Jenny because too much sunlight was getting here. Mm. Now, next, we have more roses stone cuff stone cuff candy tough here sedums Range of rose bushes. Rose bush. We have crepe myrtles with the fern in the middle, Japanese maples, different varieties of azaleas. Here we have a rose globe barberry. Look at that beautiful color. And that's the side of my property there, which I'm about to take some red paint over there. Or stain, shall I say, in stain. My little chicken coop is down there. You all can't see it, but <laughs> I'm going to get two chickens. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to my crepe myrtles giving me some purple blooms really soon. All right. Bye-bye.